My name is Anne Marino. I'm from Optimax, and I'm here today demonstrating liquid crystals and making your own mood patch. Uh, mood patches are a lot like mood rings, which everybody has seen. And liquid crystals are something you hear a lot about, liquid crystal displays, liquid crystal televisions. And now we can learn a little bit about them. Well, what are liquid crystals? A lot of materials have a solid state, and then you heat them up and they have a liquid state. But some materials have an in-between state, which we call liquid crystal phase. Um, in this phase, the molecules flow like they do in a liquid, but they look different from different angles, which we call anisotropy, which is a property of solids. The kinds of molecules that do this are long organic molecules made of carbon and hydrogen, oxygen, sometimes nitrogen. And they're long like rods, or we explain it sometimes that they are like students. And like students, they can arrange themselves randomly, or they can all line up in nice rows. Now you can have one row of students that lines up very well, but if they stuck their arms out, another row of students couldn't line up directly in front of them. They would have to twist a little. And another row of students in front of them would have to twist a little bit more. And this is what liquid crystals do. You get a layer of them which all aligns in one direction, and then another layer on top of that which aligns slightly at an angle, and another layer that lines at a slightly different angle. And you get many of these layers spiraling up to give you something that is like a spring. And this spring is how we see colors in mood rings. In cholesteric liquid crystals, which aren't the kind in liquid crystal displays, but are the kind in mood rings, how tight the spring is wound depends on temperature. As the molecules heat up, the spring actually tightens, bringing them closer together. When this happens, all the white light that hits the molecules goes straight through, except for some short wavelengths, which get reflected back up to your eyes. As the liquid crystals cool, the pitch or the distance between them or the spring loosens and you get longer wavelengths such as red reflected. In this demo for students, we have mixed two different kinds of liquid crystals together. One is called cholesterol perlargonate, which is a white powder. The other is called cholesterol oleal carbonate, which looks like wax in this bottle. We've chosen these and mixed them together in a 50-50 ratio because they will exhibit the selective reflection effect at body temperature. Uh, they will show red at about 90, 89 degrees, yellow at about 90 degrees, and so on and so forth. With your students, you can make a mood patch by taking a black square, which is actually a piece of overhead transparency, which has been spray painted on the back, and putting a small dab of this liquid crystal mixture on. We then take a cover piece, which is just an unpainted piece of transparency, and place it on top. We then rub it back and forth, spreading it out, trying not to get any air bubbles. And this serves two purposes. First, it helps warm it up, spreads it out nice and evenly, so we get a nice spot where we can see the liquid crystal effect. It also helps, by rubbing back and forth, align the liquid crystals so that they are in the right order. Now to complete our patch, we take a piece of packing tape and seal up the top. This keeps us from making a mess if we move it around and getting liquid crystal all over us. It also seals up the liquid crystal and protects it from moisture in the air or in our fingers. Now that we have this patch, we can place it on different parts of our body and see how warm we are. I'm a little bit cold, so you can see I'm just starting to change color here at my elbow, getting a little bit of red, which is corresponding to about 89 degrees. If I want to see a more dramatic color change, I'd move this to a warmer part of my body, like my forehead. And I can't see this, but I'm hoping that it's changing colors. What we recommend you do with students is have everybody use this patch once they make it as a thermometer. Measure how warm their breath is. Measure how warm their cheek is and their wrist. Come up with statistics for the whole class. 
We did this for the lab and came up with a couple of statistics. We found our average wrist temperature was 90 degrees because on average it showed up yellow on our wrists. Our average forearm temperature was 92 degrees because on average we got, had a green patch on our forearms. And at our elbows we were about 94 degrees or a dark blue. This has some practical medical applications. For example, here we have doctors who have painted uh, a patient's hand black and then covered it with liquid crystal and taken a picture. Here you see that the fingers are dark blue, meaning that they're warm, and we can actually see dark blue veins running through the hand. After this person smokes a cigarette, you see that the fingers turn green. This means that they've cooled down. We also no longer see the veins going through the hands. This is because the nicotine in the cigarette has constricted the blood vessels, reduced the amount of blood that's flowing through them, and the fingers have cooled down. You can see liquid crystals in all kinds of products you can buy at this store. For example, everybody has seen mood rings. There are stickers with liquid crystals, such as we have here, mouse pads, and also thermometers. Uh, disposable thermometers like this one produced by VIX have very uh, well calibrated liquid crystal compounds inside. Each dot on the thermometer has a different type of liquid crystal which changes color at a different temperature. These each change color at 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit higher than the one next to them, enabling you to take a very accurate temperature reading.